How's it going? Not too bad. Welcome, welcome everybody to the commentary zone. As you enter the room, please give us a thumbs up because we asked you to. Um, this is another little ripped from the headlines that Jamal and I thought was a little bit interesting since we've been sucked back into the never ending vortex of the sister wives uh, series. And um, Jamal, I'm gonna let you take it away. So this um, articles from Entertainment mm -hmm. Tonight. And I thought it was interesting mm -hmm. because it seems that none of the brown children actually want to go into the life of plural marriage. And mm -hmm. it just, I, I was thinking like, well, you, um, you've been raised this way. This is what you know. Like this is your, like your comfort zone and your parents were raised this way as well. So it's interesting that none of none of the children seem to want this life for themselves. I mean, you know, I'm just reading Janelle said like her oldest daughter like you know loves how they grew up, but she just doesn't see like plural marriage in any of her children's future. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I can it, agree with that. Well, not uh, agree with that, but it, I've noticed it. Of all of the weddings that we've seen so far with the brown kids, mm -hmm. um, they haven't involved plural marriage. Like some of them have had discussions and they've decided they're not going to mm -hmm. extend their families. Um, and I think it's because, like, like you said, these kids grew up in a plural marriage situation Mary, Janelle, Christine, Robin, even um, Cody, they all grew up in plural marriage situations back in, in Utah. You would think it would be the norm, but here's where it's not. Because the brown kids have been outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Mm -hmm. They have spent most of their time with other kids that are in single family marriages. Right. So if I know in their household, it's different, but when you start interacting with other kids and you see what the majority of the, the, the world does, mm -hmm. you realize you have a choice. Correct. And of course they've had a front row view of these, you know, their, these ladies and their jealousies and how they interact with, mm -hmm. with, Cody and only having your dad over there once or twice a week because he's at somebody else's house like you know you might not want that for yourself and that's totally fair too I mean that's yeah. completely fair mm -hmm. and then it's just interesting that um just reading going into this article that mm -hmm. Christine said none of her kids want it like definitively mm-hmm and well, this is not for them. They're not open to it at all. I was like, wow, they're, and some of them are really young. So I was like, the fact that you know, like, okay, this is not for me at a fairly young age, it lets you know, like, hey, but we just know this didn't work for us. They're obviously seeing more than we are. Of course. That it's not the, oh, I wanted more than a man. I wanted, you know, the sister experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least Christine's being honest about it finally and saying that she has an issue with the jealousy. And I commend yeah. her for that. Because I, I know appreciate I her for that. You know? Mm -hmm. To come out and say, like, you know what? I'm having issues with this. I'm not feeling this. And and she just took it, she just said like it was nothing. She owned it, she was cool with it, and she like I'm good. Yeah, I mean, like, not even the boys are into it. Mm -mm. Eh. But then again, Cody has been such a failure <laughs> as a husband, a family leader, a spiritual leader. Um, I don't want to comment on his parental skills, but with regards to the ladies, I don't think he has been the best of husbands mm -hmm. to any of them. Um, why would, and that's candy coated for the cameras. In real life, can you imagine how he behaves? 
Oh my god. If I'm being honest, no. <laughs> I, I really can't only because of what we see and how much we've seen. And it's like, okay, like do you react like this all the time? Mm-hmm. So wait, so, let's see what, what each of these wives say. Okay, so Janelle said that her oldest daughter, 25-year-old Madison, that's the one that just had that babe, the baby girl, right? Um, Janelle, yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. She loves how she grew up. She does not see a plural marriage in any of her kids' future. Um, Janelle is also mom to Logan, Hunter, Garrison, Gabriel, and Savannah. Damn, she had a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, Christine um, noted that her six children, Aspen, McKelty, Payton, I don't know how to say that. Pay probably um, Payton. Payton, oh, okay. Oh my Lord. Gwendolyn, Isabel, and Truly aren't open to plural at all. How, she, how does she know what Truly wants at 10? But okay, I digress. Um, as for Robin's five kids, Dayton, Aurora, Bren, Brianna, Solomon, and Aurelia, she said they're not really thinking about dating, much less marriage right now. Okay, we'll see about that. Um, and then we have Mary, whose mom to 25-year-old Mariah said it doesn't surprise her that the family's kids aren't interested in plural marriage. It proves to me and everybody that we don't force our family to do what we think we should do, she said. What we've tried to do with our family is allow that space for each child to grow up and embrace what they want to embrace. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I I applaud them for not forcing their um, their way of life on their children. Um, it's because they chose to do it. They're not making them do it. They're giving them like autonomy to make their own life's choices. And mm -hmm. I appreciate that. I think they're doing a great job to be completely honest. And Cody says, cause you know, we can't do it without hearing from Cody. Cody meanwhile said, he tries not to meddle in his kids' dating lives. I don't really advocate for them to be in plural or not, he said. I see it as something they'd work out with their spouse. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Enlightenment. Wow. Love it. Who forced that out of him? <laughs> I like the enlightenment. I like uh, the... It won't like last long. Process. <laughs> Somebody will get home. a flat and he'll have a hissy fit. <laughs> You're not gonna let that go, that flat, huh? Listen, when you repeat the same story two two um two years in a row, I have a problem mm -hmm. with it. This can't be an ongoing thing year after year. Him having a total meltdown over a flat tire. Fair. I'm just very Cody. much over Cody and. Um, I want all of these women to be liberated, in my opinion. I want mm -hmm. them to be set free. I want them to find um, happy relationships and live out the rest of their lives happy mm -hmm. instead of always so miserable. All these women look miserable, with the exception of Janelle, because Janelle is happy to be anywhere. I like Janelle a lot. Uh, she tries. I'm going to say this. She tries so hard to get the family together. She wants to, she, you know, I, I appreciate her for um, what she's trying to do. So uh, that's why I'm going to leave that. I want Janelle to go back to being the way how she was, um, being angry at Mary or just not engaging, period. I don't like all this kumbaya with her. Um, no. I don't. And I like feisty yeah. Christine. I like Christine. But she's, she's saying her truth. She's saying how she sees it, and that's it. I, I'm so shocked that the most growth has come from Christine. Like, mm. I, I would have never thought that when, when I first started watching this show. Would have never thought that Christine would have been the one to be where she is right now. Gotcha. You know, because I mm -hmm. I had her pegged as the 
with a babysitter. Sorry to say it, but that's how I had, like, she was in that slot for me. She was gotcha. a babysitter. And Janelle was the one who went out and worked and had the, um, the, the, like, she was in charge of the finances. Mm -hmm. And Mary was just like number one wife and she directed everything. And Robin was the interloper, destroying it. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's the way they treat her. See, I'm like, oof. Y'all really just don't like this woman, huh? No. This is very, they were very they were three wives for God knows how long, and then all of a mm -hmm. sudden he gets an itch, and he decides to bring in a fourth for no reason. It was just weird. I'm not I'm not mad at it. I will say this: I'm not mad at it because they have a right to feel like, you know, we were cool until you came along. Because it seemed yeah. like they were. Yeah. But so I get it. We've been rolling along with them for fifteen seasons now. So it's fifteen seasons or ten seasons. I can't know. I think it's I think it's fifteen. 15. Let me double check. Oh I think it's fifteen. God. It's just teen too much. So yeah. So well, good for the kids. Well, good for them that they're not forcing their kids into something that yes. they don't want to be in. And allowing them to freedom the freedom to explore their own options. Good for them. Great job. Great job mm -hmm. by all. Let's just see if we can get these houses on track in Flagstaff. Yes. That's super important. <laughs> okay, guys. That's it. Just a really quick ripped from the headlines uh, regarding Sister Wives. Is this the end? Um, let us know your thoughts. Put your comments below. Um, we do read them and we respond. Hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Most importantly, tell a friend. Have them join the conversation. Until next time. Bye. Bye.